Yo, what's Gucci, man? Lil Wheezy, baby. All right, story time, ladies and gentlemen. The story was actually supposed to go up yesterday because yesterday was supposed to mark the start of all my retail stories that I've accumulated over the two and a half years of where I've worked. Unfortunately, I fell asleep after work, took a nap, and woke up and I was like, well, shit, nigga, it's nine o'clock. There's no point uploading something late in the night because, um... That'd be fucking stupid. I digress, but let's jump into the retail stories. So pretty much um, a little thing before I actually jump into uh, the story of today or multiple stories, I should say. How I'm gonna be running all of my retail stories is seeing each individual story. Some of them are actually good to make a whole video on, but some of them are just, they're short and sweet. So what I'll do is I'll take, um, relative short and sweet stories and lump them together so for example like today i'm gonna be doing like this shoe kind of thing in like our shoe department where i work and i'm gonna take all of my really juicy meaty stories from there and put them in one giant story so it makes it a hell of a lot funnier so it's like segmented stories take it as like comedy skits you feel me fam so all that bullshit out of the way let's uh let's start off i like to to call this story the do you have this story now the reason i call it the do you have this story is once upon a once upon a night i was at the cash register doing my due diligence at the cash register ringing up those fantastic human beings buying their wonderful sporting goods that they so urgently had to get and i must service them as i was servicing them a young younger customer a kid really he walked in with his mom his mom started walking away he went towards the shoes so you can already tell she's a shitty parent because she's just like oh sure dude just go over by the shoes i'm just gonna go over here and be a bad parent and not pay attention to you so the kid goes over to the shoe area he picks out a shoe that he must have that he is going to force his parents to buy because he's probably spoiled as shit and he walks towards the cash register i'm just sitting up there on my phone browsing dank memes on 4chan and this kid walks up with one of our display shoes that we have to pull from the back he sets it on the table and this motherfucking kid looks me in the eyes deeper and more passionately than any leonardo dicaprio movie ever and he looks at me and i look at him and we make eye contact i could have been put on drama alert if it was any second longer of this awkward eye contact and he looks at me and says do you have this now me being 19 years old or 18 years old at the time whatever i at first was like oh, this kid fucking stupid it's well, of course we have it you're holding it you fucking idiot and then i remembered he's like fucking 10 years old and i was like oh shit shit nigga he's ignorant as fuck dog so i was like at first i give i, I actually chuckled a little bit and i was just like <laughs> and i was Jesus Christ. So anyway, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. What do you, what size do you need, bruh? And he's like, I don't know. And at first I was just like, all right, dude, where the fuck's your parents? Because your parents should know your shoe size, right? Nope. He goes, he runs away. He goes and grabs his mommy and uh, his mom's like, shit, nigga, I don't know. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to call someone over here to help you because now your this specific interaction is going to make me go home and chug three gallons of uh, detergent. Thank you very much. I'll never forget the do you have this kid. It was one of the most perfect moments of silence in in the in the moment that we shared eye contact with. I was scared at first because I was like, dude, I'm gonna be put on drama alert. This kid's fucking like gay or something. He wants me, dude. And even more so, the fucking the whole like the whole the whole thing was just pure unadulterated comedy. It was just comedy. It was fucking fantastic. Now this is not necessarily an individual story. This is more of like an overall synopsis of what it's like to work as a athletic shoe salesperson. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, you're copying iDubs because you burped in your video. He owns burping in videos. <laughs> Kill yourself. No, but really, selling athletic shoes is kind of a kind of a headache. Cause let me tell you why. People in the athletic world, or people who are just ignorant in general, are absolutely fucking stupid. They think there is a science to shoes, right? Like there's some type of special shoe formula. What you know, they can. What's what can I spend twenty dollars on, but get like a hundred dollar quality kind of shoe? You know those fucking cheap ass motherfuckers who walk into stores and are like, "What's the best thing for thirty dollars?" And then you show them, you're like, "Man, I can find that better online." It's like, "Oh shit, I can do it." But with selling shoes, it's like, man, these people really don't understand that it's just try it the fuck on and see if you like it. You know, you're if you have a budget, that makes sense. But don't complain about what you get if that's what you get for that budget. Jesus Christ, man, it's not a hard concept to understand. And it gets really old really fast when people sit there and bombard you with like these large amounts of questions. There was one woman that just flipped the fuck out on me for not knowing the difference between this Nike and this Under Armour shoe. It's like, bitch, most of them are all the fucking same. 
most of the, all the shoes you will ever go out and buy in your entire life if they're, well, in athletic shoe terms, because there are different types of shoes you can buy. There's casual, there's what, whatever, whatever. You guys get the point. If you buy Under Armour, if you buy Nike, if you buy this, or you buy that, it, it comes down to your foot, okay? There's no fucking scientific injection you can get to to make this shoe like the perfect shoe for you. Like nigga, just try the fucking shoe on, man. I make minimum wage. I'm not here to go on Google and be like, oh, I wanna be the best at my job. <laughs> Google the difference between all these different models of shoes. Dude, we sell like 300 shoes. Do you expect me to know the difference between every single shoe? Listen, working in retail, you will become the best bullshitter of all time. All right, you can lie straight to these people's face and say, oh yeah, it's popular, that's why it's really great. Or, oh yeah, it's got super mega foam epic XD technology. And they'll be like, oh sweet. And then they'll buy it and then they'll come back two days later and be like, yo dog, this shoe sucks. That guy lied to me. And I'm like, oh, I didn't lie to you, it worked for other people. And then it's just like a perpetual thing of you can't, you can't be wrong because you just bullshit your whole way through it. So if you guys ever start working retail, just remember lying can get you through any situation. All right, like in a retail, scenario obviously not in a professional manner where if you actually have a job that you can live off of you know tell the truth don't be an ass but i mean in a retail synopsis the moral of the story is people are fucking stupid people are gonna get mad at you for the dumbest fucking shit if you don't please people right away they get upset but those are very few and thin is what i've noticed working in retail and let me tell you the retail stories that i've got built up and that'll hopefully continue on as long as i can milk it <laughs> will will go on but anyways guys if you like what you're seeing and you like what you're hearing hit that like button subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about my terrible fucking story. My name is Anutify, and as always, have a fucking fantastic <laughs>